October 1840 Minutes of the General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints held in Nauvoo, Hancock County, Illinois, October 3, 1840 The conference was opened by prayer by President W. Marks. Joseph Smith, Jr. was then unanimously called to the chair and R. B. Thompson chosen clerk. A letter from Elders Bent and Harris and one from Elder John E. Page were then read by the clerk, which gave very satisfactory accounts of their mission. On motion, resolved that a committee be appointed to ordain such as have recommenced to this conference for ordination, and that Elders Jonathan Hale, Elisha H. Groves, Charles C. Rich, John Murdoch, Simeon Carter, compose said committee, and report their proceedings before the conference closes. The President arose and stated that there had been several depredations committed on the citizens of Nauvoo, and thought it expedient that a committee be appointed to search out the offenders and bring them to justice. Whereupon it was resolved that Joseph Smith, Elias Higby, William Marks, Vincent Knight, William Law, Charles C. Rich, Dimick Huntington, compose said committee. On motion, resolved that R. B. Thompson be appointed the general church clerk in the room of George W. Robinson, who intends to remove to Iowa. It having been requested by Elder Page that the conference would appoint an elder to take charge of the church which he and Elder Hyde had raised up in Cincinnati. On motion, resolved that Elder Samuel Bennett be appointed to preside over the church in Cincinnati. The President then arose and stated that it was necessary that something should be done with regard to Kirtland, so that it might be built up, and gave it as his opinion that the brethren from the East might gather there, and also that it was necessary that someone should be appointed from this conference to preside over that stake. On motion, resolved that Elder Alman Babbitt be appointed to preside over the church in Kirtland, and that he choose his own counselors. Conference adjourned for one hour. 1 o'clock p.m. Conference met pursuant to adjournment. An opportunity was given to the brethren who had any remarks to make on suitable locations for stakes. Elder H. Miller stated that it was the desire of a number of the brethren residing in Adams County to have a stake appointed at Mount Ephraim in that county, and stated the advantages of the place for agricultural purposes, etc. On motion, resolved that a stake be appointed at Mount Ephraim in Adams County. There being several applications for the appointment of stakes, it was resolved that a committee be appointed to organize stakes between this place and Kirtland, and that Hiram Smith, Lyman White, and Alman Babbitt compose said committee. The President then spoke of the necessity of building a house of the Lord in this place, whereupon it was resolved that the saints build a house for the worship of God, and that Reynolds Cahoon, Elias Higby, and Alpheus Cutler be appointed a committee to build the same. On motion, resolved that a commencement be made ten days from this date, and that every tenth day be appropriated for the building of said house. President Hiram Smith arose and stated that there were several individuals who, on in moving to this place, had not settled with their creditors, and had no recommendation from the branches of the church where they had resided. On motion, resolved that those persons moving to this place who do not bring a recommend be disfellowshipped. J. C. Bennett, M. D., then spoke at some length on the oppression to which the church had been sub subject, and remarked that it was necessary for the brethren to stand by each other and resist every unlawful attempt at persecution. Elder Lyman White then addressed the meeting. Conference adjourned until tomorrow morning. Sunday morning, conference met pursuant to adjournment and was opened by prayer by Elder Babbitt. The clerk was then called upon to read the report of the presidency in relation to the city plot, after which the president made some observations on the situation of the debts on, on the city plot and advised that a committee be appointed to raise funds to liquidate the same. On motion, resolved that William Marks and Hiram Smith compose said committee. On motion, resolved that a committee be appointed to draft a bill for the incorporating of the town of Nauvoo and other purposes. Resolved that Joseph Smith, Jr., Dr. J. C. Bennett, and R. B. Thompson compose said committee. Resolved that Dr. J. C. Bennett be appointed delegate to Springfield to urge the passage of said bill through the legislature. President Hiram Smith then rose and gave some general instructions to the church. Conference adjourned for one hour. 1 o'clock p.m. Conference met pursuant to adjournment and was opened by prayer by Elder J. P. Green. 
President Joseph Smith, Jr. then arose and delivered a discourse on the subject of baptism for the dead, which was listened to with considerable interest by the vast multitude assembled. Dr. Bennett, from the committee to draft a charter for the city and for other purposes, reported the outlines of the same. On motion. Resolved that the same be adopted. Dr. Bennett then made some very appropriate remarks on the duty of the saints in regard to those who had, under circumstances of affliction, held out the hand of friendship, and that it was their duty to uphold such men and give them their suffrages and support. Elder E. Robinson then arose and gave an account of the printing of another edition of the Book of Mormon, and stated that it was now nearly completed, and that arrangements had been made for the printing of the hymn book, Book of Doctrine and Covenants, etc. Conference adjourned to Monday morning. Monday morning, October 5th, conference met pursuant to adjournment and was opened by prayer by Elder Lyman White. Elder R. B. Thompson, after a few preliminary remarks, read an article on the priesthood, composed by President Joseph Smith, Jr., after which Elder Babbitt delivered an excellent discourse on the same subject at some considerable length. Conference adjourned for one hour. During the intermission, a large number were baptized. 2 o'clock p.m. Conference met pursuant to adjournment. Elder Lyman White addressed the conference on the subject of baptism for the dead and other subjects of interest to the church. The president then made some observations and pronounced his benediction on the assembly. Dr. J. C. Bennett said that many persons had been accused of crime and been looked upon as guilty when on investigation it had been ascertained that nothing could be adduced against them, whereupon, on motion, it was resolved that no person be considered guilty of a crime unless proved so by the testimony of two or three witnesses. Dr. Bennett next brought before the conference the treatment the saints had experienced in Missouri and wished to know whether the conference would take any further steps in relation to obtaining redress. On motion, resolved that Elias Higby and R. B. Thompson be appointed a committee to obtain redress for the wrongs sustained in Missouri. The Committee on Ordinations reported that they had ordained 39 to the ministry. On motion, resolved that this conference be dismissed and that the next conference be held on the sixth day of April next. Joseph Smith, Jr., President. R. B. Thompson, Clerk.